Joe, the collection of uh, running backs here, how much do they fit what Nick wants to do on offense and the different weapons you can have out there? Yeah, well, listen, I, I know that those guys are doing a good job. I mean, it's yet to be, you know, we're still pretty in, in pretty early stages here in, in terms of how things are going to fit in, and especially since we haven't gotten into the regular season to see what we're really going to, you know, really end up coming out of this season being good at. But these guys are doing a really good, you know, they're doing, they're doing really good at, you know, picking everything up and, and, and being as versatile as possible. Joe, that throw to uh, J.J. Ortega Whiteside, you look like you rolled to your right. What, you know, just take us through that play. What did you see? What were you looking for? Yeah, well, we were just running two, basically two corner routes with some flats and trying to get out of bounds at the end of the half and pick up another chunk, get us a little bit closer. Um, felt like the left side where I was looking wasn't really working. Got a little bit of pressure, was able to escape outright. And then just that portion of the field was, you know, was open, and he kind of felt it. He turned up. Um, and did an awesome job catching the ball and then getting into the end zone from there, obviously. I mean, I think that was all him. Once the ball got in the air, it was, it was all him catching the ball and then getting those last 10 yards or whatever it was to get, it, get himself in the, in the end zone for a touchdown. That was huge. I pointed a little bit, but I think he was already turning up. Given, the, given everything you've done in your career, Joe, like what, what is your juice level for a preseason finale? <laughs> it's funny. I, I think people probably see that. They see... You know, guy in his mid thirties playing in the last preseason game, and they probably think, "Oh, he just he's just out there hanging out, playing football." You know, just playing a game. But no, I mean, I'm sitting in the hotel today, getting myself ready, just like I would any other game. Um, you know, especially we haven't. You know, obviously, still we haven't won in this preseason, and it's, it's Nick's first job as a head coach and this first, you know, a new staff. So. Uh, you know, I've been there before, and you know these guys want to get a win. So these games are these games are still important. Some of the guys you're out there with are obviously trying to to make a roster. Sometime, some of them for the first time. How much do you put on yourself to to get yeah, in your best? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, that that's why you cannot take any games, any plays for granted. They all count as NFL football games, and and guys' lives are and livelihoods are always at stake. Guys' livelihoods are always at stake. So. You want to be a guy that can help those guys achieve whatever they want to achieve, and and not not kind of weigh them down. So, so given that given that you wanted to get a win, what like what was the reaction after the way the game ended? No, it was all good. I mean, it was all good. I mean, everybody was excited, and, I, and and listen, there was a lot of really really cool plays out there that, out there today. So I think Coach Sirianni was excited for everybody, and just really proud of, of how hard we played and and and, and all that. Joe, you've been around a long you, time. Is there is there a right or a wrong approach to, to the preseason and whether you'll play your starters even in the final game like the Chiefs did tonight or like the way you guys have handled it here? Yeah, listen, I I, I it's tough to say. I, I, there's probably no right or wrong way. It's it's probably we all sit there afterwards and if something bad happened or if something good came from it six weeks down the road you know, you realize, oh, maybe it's because they played their preseason, their guys in the last preseason game where something bad happened. It's like, why why were they doing that, you know? So I think it's one of those things that we can all kind of look at, you know, whether the term, depending on what happened and, and give our critiques of it or our applause for it. So just one of those things. You got to do what you feel is right with what your team has and how much they've played before and all those things and uh, just stand by your decision. Joe, how do you feel about the way you played and just came through the preseason? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's tough to kind of answer questions about yourself, but uh, listen, I was excited to get out there today and, and and be able to move the ball down the field and, and score some points. So that was a lot of fun. Joe, uh, playing with the second team offensive line throughout the summer, what did you learn about your offensive line depth uh, heading into this year? Oh, you could tell pretty quickly that we have a bunch of guys up there that can play football. Um, you know, they're not just big guys that can move and, and block, but they understand the game, and um, that's you know. Nobody, you can't see that necessarily <clears throat> on TV, or you know, or or if you don't really necessarily know exactly what you're looking for. But a lot of the guys up front have you know really good football IQs. They just have football sense. They know how to play. They know how to you know where to go naturally and things like that. And I think that that's really big at every position. But when you can get a group of offensive linemen that can do that well, it just takes your team to the next level. And Joe, the next time you play might need to be a situation you, you don't expect, coming in cold, something like that. I, I guess from um, from now going forward, what do you do to, to prepare for that type of scenario? Right. Listen, I, I mean, obviously before last year, I, I hadn't had a lot of experience at that. And it, it is different. You know, you have to make sure that you attack 
you know, the early parts of the week just as if you were the starter, even though you're not going to be able to get the reps. Because the biggest thing is making sure that you feel prepared going into the game without getting the reps throughout, throughout the practice week. Um, and that's just nothing to be taken lightly. You have to, you know, you have to work your tail off and, and approach it the right way. And as long as, I think that's the biggest thing for me. As long as I do that during the week, which I know I will, then I can go on into Sunday feeling confident that I'm prepared. And if something happens, then yeah, that's what you're there for. Joe, you, you touched on the running backs at the, the beginning of this. Uh, what you, what'd you say to Kenny there, that second drive? Guys, man, you're putting me on the spot. It's, uh, it's tough for me to kind of listen. We had some room out there to run. I think our linemen did a good job. And I think those guys hit the hole. They didn't hesitate. They went. I know on one of those, I scrambled. Um, you know, I was looking for my receiver. And I scrambled to the left, and he did an awesome job showing up for me, getting you know, getting my the attention of my eyes, kind of grabbing me, and giving me a spot to go with the ball. And that was a big play to kind of move the chains and keep going. So um, I think he's starting to kind of get his legs underneath of him out there and feel confident about just making decisions quickly and going and, and trusting his feel. And I think he was able to do that today.